Dude, look at look down his throat. Oh, blue gill. That is a giant gill down his throat. Howdy and welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are at the HQ right now. Thunderstorms rolling in. Big party day. We're having a big party roll out to go fishing together. And today's fishing adventure is brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. Before we get to slinging some lures out there on the water, let me tell y'all about Mystery Tackle Box. MTB has been ahead of its time in the fishing industry by providing these boxes, this service that ships straight to your door. You don't have to do anything except take your box, open it up, explore and go fishing. They do the work, they pick out the lures that are best for the month and they save you money by bundling all these things together. Not only do you get the physical aspects of the baits, but they also back it up with information both in the box and online where you can go and look at how this lure works, where do you throw it, and what are the tips and tricks to help you catch more fish. Even a semi-experienced angler like myself still learns something from getting these boxes, getting new lures, and learning how to fish them. So if you're looking to mix it up a little bit, maybe get some new lures that you've never tried before, or you just don't want to go out to the department stores and touch all the things that have the germs on them. This also makes one of the best gifts for the fishermen in the family. I signed my dad up for this literally years ago. He's still getting boxes, and we're still talking about the baits that come in every month. So go check them out. The link is down below. Make sure you use the code MONDO to save on your first box. All right, y'all. We're on the water. Team nursing home. Miss Manager Matt, he's here with me. Uh, we're, we're out here on the ranch. We've been taking out a lot of ballers today. Just playing around, just, just goofing. Some pro golfers this morning, some that had never fished and just, you know, doing a little guiding. But now uh, we're gonna strap on the GoPro and just yank on them here for a minute. Okay, folks, we're gonna start out with our, well, probably everyone's favorite bait, the frog. Let's see here, Matt, you're throwing a, um, a white belly. You just caught one? Yeah. No way. First cast. Oh, she's in there. She's a decent one too. Really? Yeah. Come on now. How's that rod doing? It's doing good. Oh out. yeah. You know, nice four pounder on the first uh, cast. Oh, that might actually be bigger. Oh my god. Dude, that's like a five. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, dude. Look at this. Holy moly. Oh dude, it's gosh. gone. I mean, eat do me. you think it wanted it? Eat me. Oh my gosh. Eat me. I love this magical place. Dude, that is a nice bass. Is that the biggest one you caught today? Biggest one today. Yeah. Dude, that is a... That's a hefty one. Yeah. It's about as big as they get out here. How much do you think that one is? That's, that's a fiver for sure. So they're just all trapped back here, huh? Yeah. This little open area. I mean, you can go all the way back there and like just wreck them the whole way. Throw it back in there too. Oh my. That one just, he wanted it so bad. Good bloop. Ooh. Hi. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Mondos are back. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a couple of fivers just starting it out. A <laughs> couple of fivers hit that like <laughs> oh button, folks. Wah bam. Oh my gosh, dude. And they don't just love tap it. No, no. <laughs> a love tap, no. It's a full on. Dude, look at look down his throat. Oh, blue gill. That is a giant gill down his throat. Blue gill, y'all. That's what they eat out here. All right, baby, keep munching them blue gill. Love you so much. Oh, gosh. Everything else is just nectar after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that baby. So if we go back, 
so there's a massive that, that Oh my gosh, oh, dude. My. Wow. Oh. Holy mother. Tried to suck it off a pad. Right next to that stump. Let's see if we can repeat. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, wow. oh, so right now, y'all, there's a lot of bluegill that are feeding on the bugs that are hanging on these pads. Is the basket the revenge on the bluegills in May? down in the south, because they eat their eggs in the early spring when they're spawning. And now it's the bass's turn to get revenge. Oh my gosh, dude, it knocked it off the pad like a foot in the air. Oh, got him. Oh my God. Dude, oh my gosh, it came off. Oh my God. God, oh my gosh, that was dude, it off the pad like dude, it literally it saw it underneath the pad and was like, oh. I see the silhouette. I'm just going to try to knock it in the air. That was so cool. Oh, over the tree. Oh my gosh, dude, just way back in there. Over the tree. Over the tree. Yes, got him. That is frog fishing at its thickest oh right gosh, there. These fish are huge. Yeah, they're tattooing it. Woo! We're talking back. Well, this would be perfect for the kayak. Oh, look at that bass right there, dude. Look at that bass, oh dude. Gosh. Yeah, it's that a big a good fish. I know. That might be the biggest fish we've seen in here. How does he not want? Maybe, maybe we already caught him. You think no? You think we caught that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think he's a five. He's a good one. Oh. A little nip. Just sucks it under. Do you little nip me? What do we got? Oh, a little better. I would not have said that fish was going to be even that big on that bite. But. Sometimes they suck it in, gingerly. Skinny, post-spawn. <laughs> oh, I got one coming. Oh, big one. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Saw him waking like a shark in the ocean. He was just stalking it. Stalking it. Dude, you never lose. Look at that. Double pop on the nose. That is the perfect frog hook set right there. Just grabbed it perfectly. Thank you so much for that amazing bite. Oh, yeah. They usually come out of the wall, you know, like. Oh, little, little twitch. Got him, oh, he's off. dude. Yeah, Are you sure? Yeah. Trying to sound like some suction. Yeah. Smallmouth don't have that like slurp. Are you freaking? No me? way. Are you? <laughs> you just had it laying there. I, I literally just dropped it in the water. I was gonna pick out my pick up my phone because I just got a text message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he followed it to your feet. Yeah, he wanted it. Give me that thing, man. Give me that thing. Okay, folks, we got some dandies in the boat so far. Can't complain with that. The grass is so thick out here that you're kind of limited on what you can throw. It's really just top waters and um, really like weightless plastics. But something I've want, wanted to throw that is in the box is. Uh, this Strike Pro, it's a swing prop, 85. And it, it, you guys remember that jitterbug? This thing's sharp hooks stuck on my hand. Um, the jit, I think, no, is it jitterbug? I think so. You know, the old prop bait or the uh, wide mouth lip bait. Matt, help me out here. You know what I'm talking about? It's not a hula popper. I'm talking about an old, it's an old time topwater lure. Anyways, this reminds me of that. It's got that wide lip up front, it's a wake bait. 
stays on top. It's a bluegill color, so I'm going to throw those in the gaps of the grass where we got some open areas, um, so I don't have to just keep working that frog, you know, wearing my wrist out. So I'm going to try this little uh, swing prop right here. Let's see if we can grab one. I'm going to tie a little loop knot here. All right, so this will be my bait that I'll throw in like the gaps, like right here in the pads. It's not the jam, but right over here, it's open water. Reel it on top like that. Oh, that's going to get smashed. Oh, this thing's got a little blooping sound as well. So you just reel her in, huh? Just reel her in. Jitterbug, I think is the name of that, that old bait, if I'm remembering right. That's on the rolling? Is it? Oh, get him! Get him up, get him up. Get him up with that Guggen. Get him up with the gold. Go for gold. Come on. Try to break it. Do it. That's a two-hander. <laughs> Matt is <laughs> Matt is doing a test on one of our uh, on our one of our prototype blanks right here. Just literally two-hand winching this fish out of here. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. It did it. Look at that. Nice. Okay, that was a nice test. I mean, you're really not supposed to grab a rod like <laughs> above that. You'll break them usually, but held up. Whew. A lot of work. Oh my gosh! I took the rod out of my hand, dude. That's a, that's a little better. Oh, you. Carol Baskins. God, that one. Dude, it took my rod out like that. That was crazy. I wonder what's back in there. Oh, get him. Caught you sleeping. Oh, I just got one too. Oh, sorry. Brace me. Hold you up. Dude! Did you see that? One was trying to eat this one. That was crazy. It saw he was injured. It's like, I'm gonna eat him. Get him while I can. Damn, he's skinny. Just taking a little walk amongst the sharks. Like a baby fur seal. Oh! Got him! Come here! Oh my gosh! Come here, baby! Oh yeah! Good little fish. That's what I was looking for. A little toppy top. Here we go. Ah. Well, that's fun. Thank you, partner. Oh, oh, okay. oh no, it's a little bit different than that frog rod, you know, when they hit that thing. You know, go to the old medium rod. Kerploppy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Get out of there. No. No. <laughs> Uh, God, God, I thought he's bigger. Jeez. Could you imagine if you had like an eight pounder that got up in there? <sighs> My dad did one time on fork. And I went in there. I went in there and dove for it. We got him. Whoo. God, that feels good. Folks, we got that Oklahoma thunderstorm rolling in right now. So. We got to take a pause. Okay, y'all, we had some severe weather go through Oklahoma and we've let it settle down over the night. We still got some drizzly out here and there's another wave of storms coming through. Looks like it's going to be doing this all week, but we're going to get a little dose of reality. I mean, we already have getting the thunderstorms. 
started out with just a magical bite, you know, on top water. I'm going to head out, um, it's first thing in the morning, I'm going to head out to one of my local lakes and just see what the fish are doing out there. Uh, the mythical place of that ranch, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. I, get, I hammer my face into public lakes all, a lot because I learn the most out there. I don't really learn the most <laughs> over at the, at the lily pad place that, where you all saw, but it is extremely fun. So I wanted to start you off with that. And now uh, I'm going to go to a, a public lake that just got a bunch of rain and thunderstorms rolling in and see how the fish are doing out there. We'll get, get a little comparison. May, this month of May, like normally is amazing for top water, just in general. Just so you guys know, buzz baits, pausing top waters like blooper, walking baits start to get really good now into the summer. I really like those more late fall, but frogs, obviously, obviously, y'all. So, anyway, May, get your top waters out. Well, well, well. Like father, like son. Are we the only two crazy enough to come out here today? It's my dad. I had no idea who's coming out here. What's the report out here today? There was a shad spawn happening when I got here. I missed it. I'm too late. Uh, I'm not sure you're too late. If they were working back over in that uh, windy area. Gotcha. I was just taking the recon and trying to find them. But I think they're out there on the island. I'm gonna try a little toppy top. What do you think? A little top water? Yeah. LFD, Lake Fork Dad. Uh, a lot of y'all see him on the lake and give him a holler. And uh, he hollers back. This has actually happened like three or four times where me and my dad don't tell each other we're going fishing. Then we end up at the lake <laughs> at the same time. So actually, he's usually earlier than me. He wakes up super early. But I'm gonna start off with a little top water right here around these flooded bush areas and see if we can get something going. If not, I'm probably gonna throw on a crankbait and just chunk and wine out on one of the main lake points. Uh, we got a break in the rain, so let's get it. Going from lily pads to backlashes. I'm actually, I don't know what that was. It was a, something got caught there. Lily pads to nothing. Some flooded brush running this thing right along here. If the shad spawn was happening this morning, that's a good thing. I don't throw topwaters like this very much, but it, it seems like any other topwater you kind of need uh, some calmer water. The bait needs to like be able to bounce back and forth, so it's perfect in calm water, just like most topwaters. But some some topwaters you can get away with a little chop, a little more chop, like a walking bait or something. Boom! Don't think we're gonna have the same splashes as we did at the ranch. That is just not how it works. I would love to throw this bait up in Canada for some smallmouth. Shoo! Boom! They would smoke it. It's a good size for them. Well, this is <laughs> this is reality right here. This is making precise casts in between the bushes and not getting anything. Come on, look at that cast. Okay, I think our topwater experience has come to an end, but that's okay. We got our dose of it. The fish look to be extremely scattered. Just bait and whatever predator fish. I think this rain has just got them all over the place. Oh, is that one? What do we got here? Stick, tree pounder, baby. <laughs> oh, got him, got him on the spinner bait, baby. God, he smoked it. Smoked it. Zinger fish. Long and skinny. Post spawn. Yeah, you need to eat. You need to eat, sir. <laughs> okay, y'all. That was a reality fish. 
come out here work 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 that top one <laughs> don't get a bite switch up to a crankbait switch up to a spinner bait got it <laughs> and having to really bump it off some cover too i will fish anywhere from a puddle to a big old lake i need a soundtrack y'all let me know in the comments if you want to see an album come out just you know lfg lf jingles basically that's what i'll call it volume one that fish was actually just on the edge of a, a rock and some some brush like in a little brush top and i mean th this is like just recently flooded so brand new cover there's another one right on the bank what do we got going here what is this oh my god it's a smallmouth Holy cow, it's a freaking smallmouth. What? <laughs> Holy cow, y'all. It's a daggum smallmouth. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What's crazy about this, y'all, is I've only caught smallmouth out here at night. And it's been a really long time, like literally years. So this is a really, really cool fish for me. Awesome. Awesome catch. Cut it on that zinger right on the bank. Awesome. Rare catch for me out here for sure. There's just not a lot of them. Really awesome. How about that, y'all? Starting out with crazy frog action, largemouth and the heavy, heavy grass lily pads coming out to no grass, raining, and catching a stickum smallmouth. The bronze back beauties, y'all. I think I've got to end it right there. I'm going to fish a little bit more before these thunderstorms come in. But I'm going to end it right there on that great note. And speaking of smallmouth, y'all, I've got a big, big smallmouth trip coming up. And I mean big because I'm talking, I'm trying to break my PB of six pounds, a little over six pounds, trying to go after a seven on the monstrous waters where the big bronzebacks live up in the Great Lakes. So that is going to be my next series coming up soon in collaboration with Ketchco. Uh, so we're gonna be doing some really cool stuff out there. It's gonna be a, a more cinematic series. It's gonna be really fun to watch. Fish and Freaks, thanks for hanging with me today. Don't forget to smash that like button for multiple species of bass in the same video. Heck yeah. God bless you, I will see you soon.